I want to welcome you all to the city of Harare. Harare uh, has a history of cycling. Uh, if you look at the bl black and white photos of the 1970s, people used to drive or ride to the factories on motorcycle. If you look at Willowville, the industrial area, they've got many cycle tracks that were used for people to go to work and ride back uh, to their homes. So we've got a very rich heritage of cycling as a city and if you look to our what they call the leafy suburbs they have cycle tracks so it's something that we have lost and it's something that we need to bring back okay yeah my name is philip Chaguna Matao, and i'm very pleased to see one of uh, the most memorable 
our events actually in Harare. We believe that our bikers uh, showcase their talent and skills and also encouraging people on getting onto bikes because bikes are a more efficient way of traveling. I'm 12 years old. I've been doing BMX for six years and it's been tough. Um, today, is the, today is the best day ever because we get to ride our bikes all day long. My name is Manga Gore. I'm 13 years old. I've been riding for seven years. Uh, BMX is fun because it's so exciting with all the jumps and other skills that you can do. I've I've gone to America and other countries for BMX races and today it's so fun because we get to ride our bikes on the road and there's no cars uh, around so it's safe to ride on the road. Hi, my name is Joanna Gore, I'm 11 years old. Uh, you should come and do BMX because you, you get to face lots of other people from other countries. You should get a bike and then you can come like once a year in town and then you can ride wherever you want with no cars coming. Hello, my name is El Elisha. I'm nine years old and I was riding for four, four years and facing other countries, winning everything, being the world champion and pedal fast. You should come here and ride. Yesterday there was a round table discussion at uh, Town House on uh, why and how Harare can become a cycling friendly city. Having heard from some of the organizers like uh, Sam from Road Safe uh, Zimbabwe, Jenna, an active and concerned citizen and many others who are here today, I'm convinced that uh, Harare can do it too. And today is part of that process. So this is why the embassy team was really happy to support uh, in particular Road Safe Zimbabwe on the ghost bike projects. I think Sam might say more about that, but the ghost bikes are those white bikes you can see under that cycle track sign. They're going to be dotted around Harare to remind, especially motorists, that they have a duty on the roads to take care of other road users um, and to drive carefully. Unfortunately, people are dying all the time on the roads and cyclists are particularly vulnerable, especially when they have to use unsafe routes. So the ghost bikes are an activation to try to start the process of changing this.
And I agree with the colleague from the Dutch Embassy just said, that to make people enthusiastic about riding your bike, you need infrastructure. Without that, it's very difficult. And you need the infrastructure especially because I think many of you are enthusiasts who drive on the weekends or go even for races or mountain bikes and across the countryside. But I think the important thing is to enable people to do daily trips. I myself, I'm not, I never was a big rider for long distances. But at home in Berlin, I do everything on bike. I go to work, I go to, to go shopping, I go to visit my friends. You can all this on, do this on a bike. And I think that's what it takes to make the change also from the weekend pleasure sports event to make it a daily activity that, that helps you around, that avoids you having to wait for buses, which may never come, or waiting for people to pick you up with their car or to pay for your own car. So I think that's really the big pragmatic thing you have. And It's imperative that everybody takes some time to learn a new language and start with the languages here, especially sign language. It's something that's really put to the side, but I will advocate it at every point in time. So I'm advocating for it now. <laughs> I'm so happy. This has been one of the 
successful events ever since we started. We started in 2018, we had a low turnout. In 2019, there was an improvement. In 2020, there was COVID. 2021, we couldn't do it, there was COVID. But 2022, I'm happy to say this was a successful event. I would want to thank all the stakeholders who participated in this. Um, I'm so happy we have created a team and there's a lot of teamwork. Um, this is only the beginning. I'm so happy to say we are moving in the right direction.